In this video tutorial, we demonstrate how to connect an electromagnetic lock with a standalone access controller and an exit switch. This step-by-step -step guide will help you understand the wiring connections and configuration required to set up a secure and efficient access control system. To set up the access control system in this tutorial, you'll need the following key components, an electromagnetic lock to secure the door, a standalone access controller to manage access credentials, an exit switch for easy egress, and a power supply to ensure the system operates smoothly and efficiently. First, connect the DC power adapter supply to the controller as per the following diagram. Ensure the power adapter is suitable for the voltage requirements of the controller. Usually, a DC 12 volt power adapter with an appropriate amp rating, typically 2 amp or above, is required. Connect the positive plus symbol wire of the DC power adapter to the positive terminal of the controller and the negative minus symbol wire of the DC power adapter to the GND terminal of the controller. Now, let's connect the electromagnetic locks positive plus symbol terminal to the access controller's NC normally closed terminal. Next, connect the electromagnetic locks negative minus symbol terminal to the DC power supplies GND or negative supply wire. This will complete the circuit for the electromagnetic lock. Finally, connect the exit switch. This is a push type exit switch with two terminals. Connect one terminal to the access controller's open terminal and the other terminal of the exit switch to the DC power supplies GND or negative supply wire.
Once you have completed the wiring, power up the device to check the system. Ensure all connections are secure and verify that the electromagnetic lock and exit switch function correctly with the access controller. Here, the access controller indicates that it is working properly if the red LED is flashing. This usually signifies that the system is powered and operational. If the electromagnetic lock is not working and the power LED is not glowing, you may need to adjust settings on the access controller. Here's what you can do. To fix this issue, you need to change the jumper cap connector from its current position to connect the plus 12V pin with the COM pin on the access controller, as shown in the video. This adjustment will align the power supply with the access controller's output settings, allowing the electromagnetic lock to function correctly. Now that the lock's LED light indicates it is working, proceed by testing the system. First, press the exit switch to demagnetize the lock, which should release it and allow access. Next, present the RFID card to the access controller to verify that the system recognizes the card and operates correctly. These steps will help you confirm that the access control system is properly set up and functioning as expected. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed the content and want to see more like this, please encourage us by liking and sharing. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest uploads. Thank you.